Hey everyone, welcome back to another CGC comic unboxing. I got another CGC shipment back. This time it is economy tier, uh, so that's pre-1975, maximum $400, and it's right here. Another four books. Um, I will say this one I didn't do as well as uh, the first two, but um, this will be one of those videos we'll check back in six months to a year and see what the values are at because I believe a lot of these, you know, they're keys and specs, obviously. And uh, I think some of these will be going up quite a bit, especially if, uh, you know, one of these guys makes a return. So let's get right to go. Okay. So the first book here is it's a key and a spec because we don't have any news I mean we don't have anything in the MCU but when the FF make their appearance uh, in the MCU at some point if the franchise takes off we're gonna see one if not both of these so I, I got Fantastic Four Annual number six, the first appearance of Annihilus, you can see him right there, and the first appearance of Franklin Richards. Those are, Annihilus is, you know, if, if they do multiple movies, it's, it's like, it's hard for them not to do Annihilus, because the big guys are Doom, Galactus, Annihilus, Mole Man. They gotta do somebody, and Annihilus, you know, they're gonna they're going to go to the negative zone at some point and then we're, you know most likely see this guy That's that's why we'll uh, I think this is a good one um, This is one of those books. That's hard to get in like a high grade That's why it's very expensive to get this in high grade when they're graded uh, But I was able to get this for relatively cheap um, Considering it started going up, but came back at 5.5 Which is just about right. I thought it would be anywhere from 5.5 to 6 um, just because it's an annual and it's like it's square bound So it is like this is where it gets really rough, you know, because uh, when you read it, it There's gonna be a lot of ticks and creases right here Especially back in the 60s, but I paid $352 total and as usual I count what I paid uh, the cost of the book pressing shipping insurance slab grading all that um, and the going FMV for this is $426. I think this is primed to go up. Um, it's been trending up. Uh, it it kind of stagnated, but um, the closer we get to FF, which is probably a couple years down the line, this will probably spike even more. Um, this will be a long-term hold. Let's just put it that way. All right, so the next one, this is another key in spec. Uh, this guy was actually already in the uh, MCU, I guess, if you count ne Netflix counts as part of it, um, which I guess they are if some of those guys are reprising the roles. But with the release of the Shang-Chi Shang -Chi, uh, movie, there's been a lot of spec on this guy coming in because we would love to see a fight between an, a fight between these two to see who the master of Kung Fu is. But uh, it would have to be recast because I don't know if I like uh, Sir Loris as a uh, Danny Rand, but Iron Fist, I'm sorry, Marvel premiere number 15, the first appearance of Iron Fist. Uh, this one was one of those, you know, it's a Bronze Age, uh, original owner was selling it and trying to uh, retire. So that's why usually books like this, if, if they did a good job of uh, keeping it in good condition, that means they really didn't touch it, so that it should be high grade. I, I really thought this could this could break uh, near mint, and pretty much it did, as you can see here, 9.0. Um, I thought 9.0 would be the cap, and we got there. Um, maybe it was an 8.5, but I mean this is really good. I mean the the Marvel uh, value stamp is in here, uh, white pages, so that's why you can see. That's how you can tell too. Um, they, Original owners from the 70s uh, that are high grade, when you get them raw, they're gonna come back white pages, you know, assuming it's in a smoke free home. But 
this right now, uh, I paid 575 total, and it is trending around $800, and it has been going up. So that did pretty good there. Um, I think that has some room for growth again, because uh, when he went when he went away, it went down, and now that there's spec him coming back, especially with all the Netflix guys coming back, Iron Fist would be great to come back, right? We would love to see that show now. It's him and Shang-Chi. Okay, and then the next one here is uh, this one. It's it's basically even. Um, I, I I look at it as even because I got this as part of a bigger lot as when it was watched in previous videos. I got cap 100 to 124 total or 1 to 125 straight through. And what I basically did was all the chaff that aren't like the keys. I just kind of put them as like bulk free for me. So I only put the values on the main ones, like number 100, 117, 118, 110, things like that. So that's why the value of this book is a little high for what I paid for, but it's really not that high. But it doesn't matter. But here it is. First Prince of Falcon, cap 117. Um, this will see a big spike again when uh, Cap 4 comes out with uh, Anthony Mackie uh, because this first appearance and he's like going to be the cap going forward right and I thought this was for sure going to be anywhere from a 7 to an 8 8 would be like really really good but came back 7.5 I'm happy uh, you know Silver Age book again 1969 first appearance and origin of Falcon boom this will be a book to hold for the next couple years. Uh, depends on how long he, he stays as cap. This is this should this should be easily like in the thousands, um, you know, down the line. But I paid one thousand forty one dollars for it, and the FMV right now is nine thirty three. So a little bit off on that, but yeah, it's basically even because of uh, the big lot that I got. Now this last one. I, this is this is where it's so that's good to do videos like this because sometimes you don't know well I really had no idea how they would grade this because this this book is like is really clean really good it's just faded like super faded you'll see it right now um, because of that I, I really thought it was higher grade than it was um, it's the first appearance of Baron Mordo second appearance of Doctor Strange and it's Strange Tales number 111 it's also asbestos man but um i got this again oops i'll just look at the, the grade 6.5 i thought it would be higher than that because if you look at this there's like nothing the spine is great there's very little stress on it there's everything the back super clean uh, it's off white to white pages but the main thing, if you look at the cover, it's faded. Super, super faded. Uh, I, I was comparing this to some of the other ones that are low, like super low grade. Um, and it's it's like, they're really low grade, but they're, they're uh, they, it pops more than the colors there. Um, this is early, you know, 60s. This person that, that sold it was a, uh, he put it up in his office because he works uh, with asbestos. <laughs> so he had this on there. And uh, it just faded over time. But I thought it would come back higher. I thought it would be, but I wasn't really sure how they would grade the fade. And as you can see, I even said on the notes, like severe fade, 6.5. Um, I, I paid 16.35 for it. And the current current FMV is like almost half that. It's like 8.36. However, it's very hard to get grades like this for a book that's this old from 1963 and it is the second Doctor Strange and you know Multiverse of Madness uh, Spider-Man No Way Home and he's in What If you know and also Baron Mordo this is first prince of Baron Mordo so and he will be in the Multiverse of Madness so uh, I think this can easily be $1,500, dollars maybe even $2,000 um, at some point within the next couple years but I think that'll be another book to check back um to see where it's at. 
So just to, to recap here, I spent a total of $3,603 for those four books and the uh, FMV is $2,995 with a loss of $608 currently. Uh, but I don't think that's going to hold uh, right there because some of these are longer term spec like um, Marvel Premiere 15 and Fantastic Four Annual Number 6 because, you know, I think we're going to see Iron Fist back and, you know, I'm pretty sure we'll see Annihilus at some point. And, the, and I think it'll be interesting to see in February to see what Strange Tales 111 looks at looks like. Maybe we'll do a video when it comes back to that. Uh, and then also Cap 117 when if and when we get more announcements from Cap 4. So, all right. So these are the, uh, the books right here. And uh, overall, I'm pretty happy just because, you know, these are old books. Um, all right. So I guess until next time, guys, see ya.